It scares the hell out of governments to have people in control of their own money. At which point you should really ask yourself, what kind of government is that? The whole thing about currency is that you don't need to know how it works unless it stops working. And when it stops working, everybody needs to know how it works because your wealth, your future of your children, everything now depends on that. If we go to a future where digital cash is the only form of cash that exists, and I think we're heading in that direction very, very fast. I think within 20 years, uh, people who grow up 20 years from now will never see cash unless they visit a museum. Cashless society. Cashless society. Cashless society. Cashless society. Cashless society. Cashless society. If we go to that future, digital cash, we're at a crossroads because we have to choose between two possibilities. One is digital cash that's run by corporations that act not only as intermediaries in all of our payments, but also act as deputized members of law enforcement for every government and or entire intelligence agency and or dictator who co-opts them to their means. That type of finance is, takes the, the worst of surveillance capitalism and the worst of surveillance states, merges them together in this fascist dystopia where every transaction you ever make tells something about your habits, your politics, your associations, your movement, your physical location. On the one hand, all of this data gets collected and shared among all of the intelligence agencies and corporations or leaked. And on the other hand, if the people in power choose to, they can decide to debank you overnight. They turn off the switch. Now imagine what happens if your bank account is shut down and cash doesn't exist. Well, you can't eat. You can't buy food. Done. You can't use transportation. You can't rent an apartment. You, you, they can literally destroy your life in a second. And if you think this is crazy, this is happening today in China. They have a system called Sesame. It's, it's a, called a social credit score. And they use your social media postings to give everyone a score as to how well they toe the line of political correctness to the doctrine of the, lead, of the Communist Party. People who have a negative credit score on that system are denied access to public transportation. They're denied access to airlines. They're denied access to trains. They're denied access to jobs in the government. They're denied access to apartments to rent. They're doing that today. Now, today, those people have cash to go back on. What happens when there's no cash? If the only people who are allowed to be intermediaries are the large corporations, they will commit the crime. It's like if you want to rob a bank nowadays, the best way to do so is to have a banking license. Then you can rob the entire bank and or country um, with complete immunity uh, or impunity. If you rob one person and steal 20 pounds from them, you're going to jail. If you rob 2 million people of their homes and mortgages, Right? You're not going to jail. You're getting a 10 million bonus from the bank and you're retiring in peace and quiet in the countryside.